This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1447. A little while back, Glenn sat down with Dr. Elfson for a little chat about reading dewormer labels. Yes, it's important, and you're going to learn why. And we'll get started right after we hear from our sponsor, Wintech Saddles. I would like to thank Wintech for being such an awesome sponsor of the podcast. Jen rides in one, I ride in one. I'm sure Wendy has one. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about the Wintech? All right. Well, if you're looking for a saddle that's affordable, durable, and comfortable for you and your horse, it sounds like you're looking for a Wintech. Wintech saddles combine world leading innovations and high tech materials in lightweight, weatherproof, and easy care saddles. The comprehensive Wintech range offers not only cutting edge design, but also reaches new standards in fit, comfort, and performance benefits for both you and your horse. It's easy to see why Wintech is the world's number one synthetic saddle brand. With styles for any discipline and confirmation, there's a Wintech saddle for you. Visit WintechSaddles.com today to view Wintech's full range of saddles and reach a new level of comfort for you and your horse. Well, Glenn here with the Horse Radio Network, and I have Dr. Ellison with us with By Media Incorporated. And today we're talking about product labeling and FDA approvals. So you go into the tax shop or you're online. What can you learn from the product labels of all these different dewormers out there? It's it's really interesting um, how few people actually read a label. <laughs> um, and I guess we're, we're all kind of guilty of that uh, in different aspects of our life where we don't want to read directions. We just you know, want to use something. But what you can learn from looking at the label is what that product has been approved for and which parasite it will uh, control. Not all the products on the market are approved for all of the essential parasites. Um, and, you know, it's really important also to look at uh, what weight uh, of animal can be treated with that tube of dewormer that you're picking up. Some are 1,250 pounds and uh, others like Equimax are 1,320 pounds. So, you know, there's, there's differences from that standpoint. And also there's a safety profile that you're going to see. You know, is the product approved for pregnant or lactating mares? Is it approved for breeding stallions? Uh, how young can a foal be when it's started on that product? That's all going to be listed on those labels. And I have seen people, you talk about the weight, and I have seen people with ponies just squirt the whole tube in and not, you know, and then say, ah, I don't worry about that. I, isn't it important not to give them too much, too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Some of the products on the market do not have a very wide margin of safety. Uh, you know, there is a, there, in some cases, there's a narrow range between uh, the efficacious dose and the toxic dose. So, yeah, it's very important to have an accurate weight, and it's very important to give the amount of product that's required. And it's also important not to underdose, because then you're getting into an area that we'll probably talk in the future called resistance. You're, you're more likely to, to develop resistance uh, on your farm or ranch uh, if you're underdosing your animals. Let's talk a little bit about that now. Talk about resistance. Resistance is, is something that, you know, we've been talking about in veterinary medicine, especially on the equine side, for the last uh, five to ten years, and, and it's been a real concern for us uh, with equine antiparasitical. Every time we deworm our horses, we are essentially selecting for parasites that are resistant to that particular active ingredient in that dewormer that we're using. So the more often we deworm the greater the opportunity for resistance to develop. Uh, so we've really now uh, taken on a targeted approach to deworming where we're identifying uh, horses by uh, their ability or, or propensity to shed eggs. And we know there's basically three groups, low shedders, medium shedders, and high shedders. We know that 80% of the horses out there are going to be low shedders, and then that there's a 20% out there that will be those high shedders. And those are really the horses that we concentrate on. And we, we, uh, we make sure that we have a very solid deworming program to uh, limit the amount of eggs that they're seeding down our pastures with. Well, how do you know if a product is working? How do I know if I'm using a wormer that it is actually working? 
you know, it's a great, another great question. Uh, you know, a lot of people just wing it. They just sort of, you know, pick a pretty box off the shelf or go with something that maybe their friends have told them about. But there, there really is a, a well-grounded scientific method that can be used that's easy to do uh, on any farm or ranch. And what we do is the day that we administer the dewormer, we get a fecal sample from that particular horse or group of horses, and then we check the fecal egg count for that horse. And that's going to be expressed in eggs per gram of fecal material. And that's done in the special counting chamber and and uh, in any uh, veterinary clinic can, can conduct that test. We come back two weeks later after the dewormer has been administered and we get another fecal sample from those individual horses and we do a fecal egg count test again. And we compare the two, and we want to see a reduction of at least 90%. If it's less than 90% reduction in the egg count, we know that we are starting to develop or have developed a resistance issue, and we need to switch to a different class of dewormer on our farm or ranch. Okay, so that's how you overcome the resistance issue, is you you really have to have more information to, to do it intelligently. Right. And that's a wrap. You can find all of the Horse Radio Network podcasts wherever you go by having the free Horse Radio Network app for your iPhone or your Android. Just go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. It's free, easy to use, easy to download. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>